Viva la 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 they're climbing the fence. I've literally never seen them climb anything. Whoa, and he just dodged out of the way of a bullet. Granted, I, I wasn't aiming at him when I pulled the trigger. Still, I'm impressed. Oh, oh, and, and I can't... Oh, he's good. He's good. You know what? Let's just try shooting him again. Look at this guy. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. Great. I've never fought like one of these guys before with, like, the hat and everything. Oh, my goodness. The, the villains are leveling up, my friends. Well, well, howdy. Welcome back. Goodness me. It doesn't look like anyone else is going to try those shenanigans. Let's get rooftop. I've yet to see anyone climb all the way up onto a roof. I've never seen anyone go to that much effort. And, and granted, they can't even figure out how to get behind this building. So I guess it's just the guys with, like, the Roman Centurion helmets we got to be looking out for now. Because apparently they're, they're something else. They're next level. I mean, they, they could have killed me just then. And there's just one of them. But welcome back to Assassin's Creed Unity. Today we're going to be continuing the story... We did a little bit of story yesterday, did a little bit of free roam yesterday, it was a nice balance, but we're meeting back up with our good mate, an all around just nice guy, Napoleon Bonaparte. Look at him. Isn't he just wonderful? Oh, yeah, let's just get into it then, let's, let's not poke on that too much. Let's not harp on the fact that we're friends with this feller. Where is my leg fan? Uh, I gotta find the switch. My legs are hot. I was accosted by three men carrying some oh, wrong button. Head atop a pike. There we go, leg fan. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, Long live the Republic to prove my allegiance. Oh my. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passe. What did you do? I shouted, Long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. I'll give him that. But... This is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison, but the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. I can touch him. I'll touch him all up and down, all over the place. With a blade. This is no way I can say that I can save it. This afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. If you, by accident, you mean I stab him through the neck, right? Because staging an accident is actually going to be pretty difficult. There's a lot of steps involved with that, but I can easily just like walk up to him and just stab him in the face, right? Just break the wrist and walk away. Just break the wrist walk away break the neck and walk away break the neck and stab him through the eyeball at the same time and then walk away i can do that if that's what you want out of me it looks like we're contemplating our options here though arno i'm, I'm ready for this eagle vision i'm ready for you to take a look at the world around us we got some dudes wrestling okay all right don't execute them now they've surrendered let's, let's have okay but well my this is like the world's lamest coup they're just walking around and taking people's guns and shoving them off of, like, upper floors. Like, no one's even putting up a fight. Ah, it's old Raggedy Ann. Look at that. Carrot Top again. All right, I guess we're killing... Is that is that Carrot Top we're killing? Is that what the whole purpose of this was? I think that's who we were talking about before. Yeah. Ruli. I'm saying that wrong. We're going to call him Carrot Top. We're going to go stab him in the face. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be an absolute just joy. And the folks of Perry will sing the praises of Arno. Because apparently a lot of them already know who I am. And certain districts, if I run around, they're like, Hi, Arno! And I'm like, hey, how are you doing? I noticed that there's some small exclamation marks. I think that those are, uh, what do they call? Assistance opportunities? Okay, I'm going to go be an assistant then. This guy's dead! Booyah! Okay, and look at this. We're, we're making pretty good headway here. Now we just have to make sure we kill both of these guys before anyone on the ground gets killed. Oh, snap! You know what? We probably should have dealt with him earlier when we had the chance. Nope, shoot, shoot. Arno, thank you. Goodness gracious me. Yes. Go do that. I will now go and do this other 
task? Are these are these assistance things actually helping me in my quest? Or can I should I just skip directly ahead to the part where I kill Carrot Top? I'm not sure if there's any benefit to this. Is this one of those chests that I have to have level 3 to unlock? Dang Flabbit. That's really irritating. Because I'll be darned. You know what? After we finish this, though, we'll start Sequence 9. And then after Sequence 9, I'll be able to open up any chests I want to. And then after that, I think the game will be over, so likely I won't get the chance to do that anyway. Hey, fellas! Oh, never mind, y'all. I see the open door. It's good. I'll, I'll work on this myself. Dude, just stop. Just, just climb the wall. Alright, be chill, Arno, for Pete's sake. Climb in the window. Alright. We gotta get up there and we gotta kill him. But then also, we've got a side objective that I'm kind of curious in. Take care of the big guy first. Oh, they're both big guys. Okay. Oh, dang it, he's still alive! I thought we'd assassinated him. It's fine, though. He's really bad at fighting. Do we just do that in all these rooms, I guess? Just run up and stab? This seems to be working so far. I, I know, again, there is, like, an assassin. There's a creed. There's all the different steps we're supposed to be taking to accomplish our goals. But to be honest, none of them seem necessary when we can just do this. This seems to work just fine. Finisher. I like that you get points for things like that. So, upstairs, yeah. I've been in this building a few times getting like chests and things. Not all of them, because again, some of them do require like level three. Whoa, do you see how we just turned around in the air? Impressive, I know. But I do kind of know my way around here by now. And I know that right up here. Ah, here we go, another opportunity to help save some mostly armed men who outnumber the bad guys. All right. Well, I've helped you. It's despicable that you needed the help, but there you go. What? They're, they're just chattering. Is this not it? Do I need to go up higher? Where is this distraction opportunity? Is it not with these guys? Th thanks, mate. I don't know what that's all about then. All right. So Carrot Top must be like another level above. I wonder if now would be a good opportunity to just release a little bit of a berserk. Boom! That's Carrot Top right there, isn't it? I think he is. Well, no, it says I need to get up there and assassinate him. All right, so is Carrot... Well, I'm confused then. This guy definitely looks redheaded. Is there more than one redheaded bro? Or is Carrot Top just not the one I'm here for at all? I don't know. In any case, these guys are distracted, which might be all that I need. Is this is this where I want to go? Can I get up to the roof from here? It looks like I can. All right, you know what? I'm not here to question things. I'm here to get the job done. I'm like Ron Howard after you fi fired Lord Miller. I'm just here to make the movie that uh, uh, Kathleen Kennedy. What's her name? Ka Ka is, that, is that her name? Kathleen Kennedy? I think it is. This sounds pretty close. I'm just here to make the movie she wants to have made. That's what I'm here to do. And Dad Gummit, I'm gonna get her done. This guy is also fighting. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see? Oh my gosh! All right, we've done it, everybody. That should be it. He's dead. Do we? Are we gonna? Do I have to kill everybody here so we can go like read his thoughts or whatever? It is we're supposed to do. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know anymore. All right, before we get shot. Good grief! There's a lot of guys aiming guns at me right now. I'm just spamming the button that's going to hopefully throw a smoke bomb on the ground. It hasn't happened yet. There we go. And now why they can't see me, I'm going to kill them in their sleep. In their sleep? They're not asleep. I meant kill them in their blindness, but that didn't sound as nearly as... Whatever. Okay, who's left up here? There's somebody with a gun. That could be like a big problem if we don't deal with it immediately. Excuse me, sir. Oh, dadgummit. I'm sorry about that. Look, I don't have time to deal with someone who's berserk. So sorry about that. All right, you finishing blow, and we'll get to look through Carrot Top's history. We'll see what this bro is all about, what he's gone through in life. All right, yeah. Mr. Mirabeau. Ooh. Aesthetic, isn't it? <gasps> oh no! Carrot Top wasn't a bad guy, he was just confused. Clean up your mess, it's time. 
told you I could make him talk. Keratop was all ab oh. Done well, Captain. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Yeah. With famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. But you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. Interesting. We've learned a lot of things today. Mostly that, you know what? I thought that this Carrot Top bro, he was just an all-out bad guy. But you know what? I think he started off with good intentions, as many villains often do. And I think that, you know what? He definitely got shafted by a person he looked up to. And, you know, he went and he found support elsewhere. He went and he... F oh, wait, wait, what's happening? What am I doing? Ledge assassination. Zero of three. Oh, I just have to escape the area. Well, I can do that. Is that guy up there a problem? No, well, he certainly looks like he's going to be if he starts shooting at me. And he is. Of course he is. Do we want to kill them? <laughs> Not particularly. Let's just get out of here. I, I've done my part. Oh, there's... Okay, yeah, we can... Ooh, do we really want to escape through the building, though? There's likely to be, like, a lot of guys down here ready to stab me in the face. No. Ah! No. Perfect! Excuse me, guys. Who are we yelling at? Who is shouting to be put back? There's a burning thing there. We'll just go ahead and escape the area then. That was pretty successful. We did good. We didn't die. We didn't embarrass ourselves too badly. Arno Pat's on the back, mate. And we unlocked a light halberd, which we still have to pay money for, but that's fine. What? Where is the next mission? Point me in the direction of whatever's going to end. I think that this is the last mission and we'll be done with eight, if I'm not mistaken. And I may very well be, but where are we, are we going to go back to? We're not going back to main base. Okay. Well, I don't see an exclamation mark on the screen. That doesn't mean it isn't here. It just means I don't see it, which is not unusual. What? What? Whoa, whoa, hold on now. Hold the phone. I'm going to go here. Fast travel. Perfect. We're going to fast travel over to that region. We're going to hop on down. I... Are we... Uh, um, I'm really bad at guessing where the story's going to go next. My assumption would be that we're going to go back and tell an assassin that, hey, we've completed the mission that you assigned for me. How about a pat on the back? And then you're going to be like, mmm, much to learn you still have. And I'm going to be like, oh, but the grain. And they're going to be like, must save the starving people. We will. Mm -hmm. Or she, yeah, I don't know. I I'm just saying nonsense. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm a bit scatterbrained right now. I don't know if the words that I'm saying even make sense. I could be talking backwards for all that I know. How great would that be, though, if I sit down to start editing and everything I hear is in reverse? What if I have to take the audio from this video and play it in reverse. The problem with that is, if I play the audio in reverse, then the video will start with me talking about the end of the video, which hasn't happened yet. I think I accidentally killed a civilian just then as well. Maybe this isn't my finest hour. I'm just going to book it on out of here and pretend that didn't happen. Y'all saw nothing. You heard nothing. The starving times. Oh, sequence. They, that was the end of sequence eight. I mean, there wasn't anything special marking the end of whatever. Paris is in the grip of famine, and it's all part of Germain's plan. You might remember him as uh, Supreme Leader Snoke. Find out who's responsible and put an end to it. We're starting sequence nine. We better get like a real kick butt cinematic to explain what's going on in France right now and to set up this new sequence. It's now 1792, so 300 years before I was born. No, I'm sorry. Um, 200 years before I was born. I was thinking seven, and then up to nine. It's matches. only two hundred years. Good to see you too. Hey! Most of them are very poor just now. Why? Her hair is looking less and less ginger, and more and more like ruby red. Shipments and diverting them to a private dock. You know her. It even has like a red outer glow, like a lightsaber. Marie was the only one who argued against Germain's exile. I'm not surprised she's still in with him. Any idea where we might find her? Not her, no. But what little grain makes it to Paris these days is unloaded at the Hotel de Ville Docks. Ooh. I'll start there. Intriguing. Something of Madame Levesque's whereabouts. Okay, then, so we're gonna go to the docks and we're gonna find the grain. And we're going to feed all of Paris! And we're going to Viva la Revolution! I'm so confused. 
about where the assassins stand on the whole revolution situation. It seems like the former leader was well and truly in it with the king, but then also was making speeches about Viva la Revolution. So I don't know. Maybe he was trying to change things. I'm sure that as I edit these videos, as usual, the story will reveal itself. But in the interest of full disclosure, a term that I say often, and usually with very little bearing to what's actually happening, Guys, I don't care about this story. Not like I have other Assassin's Creed games. I mean, the last one I played had Shay. Shay had a real cool Star Wars Episode 3 story. It was great. Hey, come back here. Stop sailing out of here with your little uh, sailing team like you're a bunch of darn uh, college students in the Olympics or whatever. Do they have... Is that a professional? That's a professional thing, right? Rowing boats, I'm pretty sure. That's the thing that you do in the Olympics. I don't know why I said college team. For some reason, I picture Aggies all rowing a boat. Is that a thing that Aggies do? If you know anything about college, let me know. It'd be very useful. Also, we've got to escape now. I made a mistake there, so we're just going to throw down a bit of uh, a bit of smoke. Oh, dead gummit. I was hoping we would be able to escape just then. We're not doing too hard, oh, but there's more of them now. Okay, maybe we'd be better off down there. In fact, maybe that's the whole idea, is that we go down there and not try to run through groups of people. Although we are maintaining speed. Like, we're not gaining on them, but we're not losing them. Oh, now we're gaining on them. Oh, but jeez, we just got shot in the back. What kind of person shoots someone in the back? I would, but I'm an assassin. We're supposed to be low down, no good, dirty back shooters. Ow! What the heck? That was so uncalled for. He didn't know I was a bad guy. He just felt the need to, like... Push me. She gotta push me for, bro. Okay, well, now we're kind of losing them. The thing is, I gotta keep some innocent civilians between me and them to hopefully soak up some of these bullets. Dead gummit, I'm sick of this. There's too many of these guys. All right, we're gonna hop on down here and see how that gets us. Desynchronized? What? I can see the target right there. What are you talking about, desynchronized? Game? You, you, you done lost me there, sir. Good grief. I don't even know what's happening. Pardon me, ladies. I'll be back to see y'all later. The only reason I assumed that this is what I'm supposed to do is because look at it. It looks perfectly set up for this sort of a free run. Oh, and I, oh I've already unlocked this collectible. What a shame. But look, I mean, seriously, look at the way these things are laid out. It looks like this is where I'm supposed to be running. And we're doing better. Like, last time, I think we were averaging about 70 meters. Right now, we're sitting pretty at about 55, 54 yeah, this is good. We're doing a lot better now. Although, uh, now we're losing them. But that's going to change here as soon as I get... Oh, d down, get down. Reduce distance to target right now, Arno. They're approaching the 70s again, Arno. The game doesn't like it when they get that far away from us. Oh, Shrek! What was that all about? Are they intentionally trying to slow me down, or is that just an accident? I'm willing to bet that was just an accident. I don't think anyone's got it out for me. Here we go, though. This will save some time. By lifting us into the air... I guess, yeah, look, look, it does work out. All right, sure. And then we'll take the boats here. I'm trying to reduce distance to target game. I'm doing my darndest, but I swear, if you tell me that I failed again, that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna go just play some stinking Mario Kart. I don't have to put up with this nonsense anymore. Game, you, you don't own me. I don't know the other words of that song. The only reason I know that song is because it was in a commercial for, oh, have I done it? Oh, I've done it! And to think, I was about to start talking about Suicide Squad. How awful would that have been? No one wants that brought up again, do they? Nah, actually, I didn't hate that game. Movie? Movie. Not game. I'm sure the, uh, <laughs> Suicide Squad movie must have been, our game must have been awful. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Any problems? No, madame. Not yet. Here, madame. Good. And I'm instructed to tell you to make certain one of the bags leaks. Uh, yes, madam. All right. I mean, that's a bit odd. I mean, if you want to starve the people, why intentionally leak bags? There's got to be better ways about that. I got to get over there. I got to steal the orders, and I can't trigger any alarms. Well, I mean, that's a bonus objective. There says it says there's bells in the area. I'm sure I can deal with that. Can I dive, though? Oh, okay. See, in previous Assassin's Creed games, you could dive. It doesn't look like I can do that here, but maybe I can creep up on this guy and, like, throw him overboard? Yeah, I can. 
A ledge assassination. I'm all about that. Can I do that to everyone here? Not that guy. He's like sitting still. I think he's asleep actually. All right. You know what? Guys taking naps? Not my problem. We'll let them be. I am concerned that that guy over there is going to see me coming. If I'm just swimming on the surface of the water. I don't want that to be a thing. How do I approach this? I don't know what to do. Don't trigger any alarms. Does that mean like I can't let them ring the bell or I can't let them see me? How, define that for me here, game. All right, all right, let's do this. Let's switch to Berserk Blades. Am I close enough for this? I'm not. Also, get down. Oh, dear. Okay, come check it out, mate. Hey, come on. This could be your big day. You could be getting a promotion right now. You're the one that caught the assassin. Just come stand right here. Or don't. Fine by me. No hair off my chinny chin chin. I was going to say no hair off my back, but that just sounded a little bit... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dead gummit. Okay, well, that's not good. Yes. I think that I just have. Okay. We're good. The problem is going to be that alarm bell. I don't think I can get over to it. Okay, we vanished. That guy up top would be a perfect candidate for a berserk dart if I could hit him somehow. Uh, I don't think I can, though. Dad burn it. Oh, shh. Quiet, mate. Quiet. Shh. Be quiet. You, you be quiet, too. Shh. I'm trying to hide down here for crying out loud. Okay, so far, so good. So far, actually, so good. <laughs> this is kind of working out. I can continue to just attract people under the boardwalk, down by the sea, and then just kill them one at a time. But eventually, I'm sure someone's going to call me out on that, like I can't get away with it forever. Oh, I can get this guy, though. Okay. Regular phantom blade. No, I can't, because I can't shoot while I'm hanging off of something. This game's real snickerty about that. Doesn't make any sense. That's fine. Can I whistle? It hasn't really given me instructions on how to whistle either, so I don't know how to attract people. Yeah, uh, how how on earth are you seeing me right now? Not that it matters. As long as I can kill you quietly without anyone noticing. There we go. Situation dealt with. Again. And just vanish. This is working. I can just kill them all one at a time and it's working. Alrighty, buddy. You have been the bane of my attempts since we got here. And now is your lucky day, because away you go. And then there was four, five. I can take out the bell now, at least. I don't think there's anyone else left around here to see me. Hop up there, Arno. Get on up there, buddy. Can we take this guy down? Ooh, I don't think we'll be able to take him down. Will a phantom blade to the head kill this guy? Uh, if he were close enough, we could try it, but, but he's not. Dad burn it. Just, just get down. I'm really concerned about taking out this bell, because if we take out the bell, they can't raise an alarm. So... Nice! Now, that doesn't immediately mean that we get that point, though. It doesn't immediately mean that we've gotten the don't trigger any alarms bonus. It's a good step toward it, though. Yeah, boy! Okay. Another guy with a gun. Another rifleman. They seem to be a bit easily spooked. Very paranoid. I don't think I can hit him from this distance is the problem. Yes, I can. Never mind. I take it back. Everything I've said. Okay. All right, you go investigate. Where did your buddy go? And then you go in there with him. Okay, and then these two... I mean, these are the last two guys guarding the orders. He's obviously confused. They're both obviously confused. This guy less so, though. Do I have any of these left? I've got one. Okay, good. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Yes! Oh, boy, guys, we didn't even get caught! Ah! <laughs> oh, that was so... I'm like a real assassin! How many of these... I've played Assassin's Creed. i played Assassin's Creed 2. Brotherhood. Revelations. Or Revelation, I can't remember. It's like the book in the Bible. It's either Revelation or Revelations. It's, I've played, okay, I, I might have shrugged up here a little bit by drawing a little too much attention. I played Assassin's Creed 3. I played Black Flag. I played Liberation HD. 
I played the one where we were Shay. What, what's it called? Rogue? Finally, in Assassin's Creed Unity, I managed to pull off some real assassinations. Like a total champ. I crept in. I got this to... Oh, I'm, I'm, I mean, granted, maybe if I was a better assassin, I wouldn't have had to kill everyone. But still, I'm, I'm not upset. I ain't even mad, bro. I'm pretty happy with what I accomplished there. I wouldn't know, but I guess we're going to find out next time. Thank you, folks, for watching. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.